Hello everyone. I wanted to come on and show you the second folio of the exact same folio. Um, I posted a couple of weeks ago the first folio like this. It's the beautiful beginner photo folio. It's done with bees on the front. Um, this paper came from Plus Stuff Junction in Melfort. It's uh, Bull Bunny's Baby Bump. Um, the folio is 100% is inspired by Vanessa Peter. I got her tutorial. It was a free tutorial for a series of four photo folios. She called them the Forever and Always uh, Folio Mini Album Series. And there were four in a box. And I absolutely love them. I fell in love with them. They come together so quick. You can do this probably the whole thing, depending on how fast you are, you can do it in a day. I took a couple of days. Like I had the photo folio, like the construction of it done probably for a few days. And today I just decided that I was going to, to Matt. I went to Melfort yesterday and, and had coffee with a friend and we went to the store and we picked up, I pick, I, we didn't, I picked up this paper. I picked up 12 sheets. It wasn't a pack. I bought the individual sheets. So I got a couple more of ones that I liked, but there was only one of this one, which was perfect for the cover because I wanted to do a Kathy King signature cut, which is I love that. That's so cool. And you can, you can tuck your photos in there. But this, the folio design is, like I said, is 100% um, inspired by Vanessa Peter of Scrapping It Up. Go check, it her, go check her out. She's on YouTube. Um, I watch her YouTube. She's got a Facebook page. If you just uh, uh, search Scrapping It Up, you'll find her. She's great. So this is the folio that I did. So you open it up, and I'm not going to do much talking because I can barely talk. A couple of uh, inserts from the paper collection. The cut apart, sorry. And it's on a flap. you got a stack pocket here. And that pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. There's a flap. There's another cut apart that I backed. You can put a photo on there and I just uh, used the, the strip on top of the paper, cut out the paper, the name of the paper collection, tucked her on there, made an insert to go in there. Nothing special, it's more just for your photos because I don't want to bulk it up too much so that I can get it in and out easy and it's not too bulky. And you got another pocket here with some more cut aparts. I backed some and I didn't back others. Journaling, you can journal on there too. Then here's another insert. This is the back of it. I made a pocket. And then this is just for, for photos. You just put photos right on there. Tuck that back in there. Then when you flip your page, the flap is extra decoration. Now for this flap, I added another tuck spot. So that'll go all the way down. It's skinny, but it'll go all the way down. And I didn't back, I didn't put anything on the back so you can have your photos and like I say, not add too much bulk to the folio. This back of this page too, I also added a, a tuck spot, a full size tuck spot. As you can see, it goes right down to the bottom. Just did that with another cut apart from the collection. And then you got a belly band here. So it's very simple, but you can still get probably about 30 photos in here, depending on the size of your photos and where you put them. You know, like you can put photos here, you can put photos here, here, you can put them everywhere. I, as you can see, didn't, didn't, didn't designate any, well, I mean, you could put one here, but didn't designate any photo areas because I love, I love the way they look just like this. So then here, you've got a Kathy King deconstructed envelope. I turned this here into a tuck spot as well. So you can have that and you can tuck your photos in there. And then this is just, you know, you toss loose, loose photos, cut apart, stickers, whatever you have, you know, for to decorate with. Close it up and you're done. 
And then for the back, I didn't want to, like I still have a couple of full size sheets. I didn't want to wreck a whole sheet. So I just took a few parts that I had and I created another tuck spot. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.